Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best-selling author. We are here to talk about the stock market. Today, we got some interesting news out of Google. They are going to launch a competitor to ChatGPT called Bard AI. Now, you're probably thinking, you just threw a whole bunch of letters at me. What in the world is all that? So in today's video, I need to explain what exactly is going on, how this could change the tech, tech space, and what it means for investors of Microsoft. You'll see why that comes into play in just a second. And Google, which is also known as Alphabet. So let's go ahead and get started. So a few months ago, there was something created by a company called OpenAI. They launched something called ChatGPT. This device, or really the software, this program, is a chatbot. Basically, you type in almost anything you want to type in, and this web website would spit out everything you need to know. Essentially, I could say, hey, write me an article about Google and it will spit out 200 words. It can write poetry. It can write a screenplay. Do nearly anything you want to do in a chat format. Now, there are some positives and some negatives. The positive is it can really help you get a whole bunch done. Negative being, you know, if you're in high school, you need to write a paper overnight. This could absolutely do it for you, at least get you, you know, 80% of the way there. Now, this has become a major threat to Google. There have been several reports where Google said, hey, this is a cold red. Why in the world did we not come up with this idea first? And why is everybody logging on, do all this stuff for free, and we don't have any extreme presence? This also became a concern for Google because Microsoft has stepped in and has backed the program. And they haven't necessarily like, you know, bought into it or integrated it into any of Microsoft's products or anything, but they have said like, hey, you know, we're pumping OpenAI with money. We're going to partner with them in the future. Like, they're our friend. They're very close to us. And this is a, a new cutting edge technology. Again, from screenplays to writing books to answering questions, even though those questions haven't necessarily been 100% correct. But anything that you can think of, for the most part, it can do for you or at least help you through that process. So, Say Google said in a blog post that they're going to launch this. They're going through a testing phase first, and then it should be launching to the public over the next few months, they say. Now, here's why that is extremely important. Number one, both Google and Microsoft were down last year. Google specifically was down about 28% over the last year. They are up, however, 20% in the last month alone. Okay, that's pretty significant. The biggest thing here is this. You have to see how these new tools, these new technologies are going to be implemented into other products and things in the future. Google's main business is advertising and search. Whether you are searching for a video via YouTube, whether you are searching through emails for via Gmail, or just searching for what's the best place to get barbecue, what time does the game start, all those types of things via Google Maps, Google Search, YouTube, the list goes on. That is what they do. Well, if people are starting to go to another website and say, hey, what's the best way to, to write an essay? And they're going to chat B GPT. And not only is it telling you that, but it's giving you an essay to write or at least start. That is a problem, right? That is a problem for Google. So now they're launching this and it can absolutely change the game. The reason why is this. I have Gmail. I'm sure most of y'all have Gmail. A lot of people have Gmail and don't necessarily love Outlook. But in either case, imagine you're going through your own Gmail, right? And you see some emails that you need to respond to. And instead of sitting down, reading them, taking all the time it takes to respond to an email thoughtfully anyway, and spelling people's names correctly, whose names are in the email, subject for another day, uh, imagine if you could just type in a phrase, hey, respond to this email and boom, it's done. And Google can go ahead and schedule that and put it on your calendar and do whatever else you need because you use Google, you may already have an Android, it works with the assistant and everything is, is almost seamless. While Microsoft could do this between Outlook, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, they don't really have a phone presence. They do have a computer presence, obviously, but things can get very integrated very quickly and very powerfully. I've already used AI in some of the stuff that you may see already. Sometimes I sit down and say, hey, give me a topic of things to talk about this week and chat GPT will go ahead and do that for me. Perhaps Google's will be just as powerful, if not more so. And then you can also use it for some of the captions that we use underneath most of these videos. And I say, hey, give me a caption for a video about X, Y, and Z. Boom, it'll spit out a paragraph, copy, paste, and you're done, right? Now, mostly I use news articles and will cite where the news source is, but sometimes if I don't have time to do it, 
I'll have AI do that and that can simplify my video uh, process. This is useful, powerful technology that again, is this has already become a race, right? Most of us didn't know what a chatbot was or the power of AI or what ChatGPT was up until what, a few months ago. So I'm thinking maybe November-ish, if not December of 2022, and things have rapidly progressed because this is, I mean, think about it. From the time it started trending at the you know, end of last year, Google's already putting out a competitor saying, look, this was a cold red, we need, we need to put out something now, okay? Now, aside from all that, what did this mean for investors, right? Should you now hop into it based on this news? Yes or no? Okay, so I say yes because I, right, I own both Microsoft and Google. I've been long time believers in those stocks and at least over the last month I've been rewarded for, for, for doing so. But I think these are long term companies in either case. I do like the fact that Google has responded because I do think that is a problem. If ChatGPT becomes more of a search engine, more of a trusted place for people to go to, to get answers and get work done, that's going to be something that is going to hamper Google. I think Google does have an edge, assuming that their product is at least comparable because you could automatically launch it to all of the devices and all the things they already do. Imagine, and I have a speaker here that is connected to Alphabet. I don't want to say the word because the speaker come on. But in the case, I could say, hey, X, Y, and Z, go write me an email about this. Go put something on my calendar and write an essay about whatever while you're at it, right? And have... I don't know, 30% of my day done by technology and have it send an email and do all that stuff for me. That is extremely powerful and extremely useful because for Google, if they can do that for you, you're obviously gonna buy their products and they can advertise. That's the whole point of the game. And that is something that both Microsoft and Google absolutely want their hands on. So we will see where this goes. This is, again, really new, at least for the public, and we'll see how things start to shake out. For me, if I'm looking to invest, Again, I bought both of them. i am continue to hold both of them. They do different things to a degree, but these are two of the most powerful companies out there, and I really don't see the world without a Microsoft or without a Google. I think they both, can't say they go together, but both of them are extremely powerful, and you kind of have to have it, right? And both are entrenched. I think Google's a little bit more entrenched than, than Microsoft, but again, whether it's computers, most companies are stuck with Outlook. Uh, I know the power of Excel is out there. Um, so those are two things that you do want to pay attention to. Uh, I wouldn't just invest based on this information alone. There are a lot of things that you want to pay attention to. Both companies announced earnings recently. Those are things that you want to pay attention to if they haven't announced already. Um, so there are some things that are still developing. But this is a breaking story so far today. You are going to hear a whole lot about Bard AI in the next few weeks once it launches and once everybody gets their hands on it. So wanted to come out and explain what in the world is going on and why it is such a big deal. If you want to learn more about investing, you know where to go. There is a link right here to join our members only. We do exclusive videos each and every week. Last week, I went through a few programs and um, showed you guys what the golden cross was and why it's extremely important for the S&P 500. That's 500 largest companies because something real big happened last week and i think is a very positive sign for the stock market as a whole so you definitely will go back and see how you can use that technique and use what we taught in that particular video and we do again videos every single week brand new exclusive based on the questions that people are asking and then some of our most advanced investing information all right that is it for me i'll talk to you later